So my Whoop membership is coming to an end and I am left with the question, do I want to continue this or do I want to end it? And I'm going to end it. Why am I going to end it? I'm going to organize this video, basically how Whoop already organizes all their stuff, which is sleep, recovery, and stress. Starting with, and then like kind of one bonus thing at the end, just as like a final straw type of deal. Sleep was the reason that I bought the Whoop band originally. It just was the biggest draw. I wasn't sure if I was sleeping good or not. I was curious about it. My wife has an Apple Watch, she uses hers and so, but I never wanted like all the stuff on my wrist. I just, I don't need texts and notifications dinging on my wrist and I didn't want it. So I basically came down to the Apple Watch, the Whoop band and the Aura Ring and I decided to go with the Whoop band just because it was geared the most towards really active, really fit people and that's kind of how they advertise it. So I went with it. Um, and at first talking about sleep specifically and all of the features in general, but sleep, it's awesome. You've got all this information, you've got all this stuff and it's like, it's almost too much. You just can keep, you can really dive deep into every single stat, every single number, every single little thing. And it's awesome at first, but then I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'll give them six, six months in you really start to see the patterns and the pattern of your sleep. And so at first when everything's new and you're diving so deep into stuff, it's so fun. But then when you start to see, okay, every time I go to bed at this time, it's yellow. Every time I go to the gym, it's yellow or it's red or and then a combination of the two, I mean it's yellow or it's red. And then if I go to bed really early, then it's green every time. And you start to see these patterns that repeat over and over and over. And you don't need the band anymore because you know what it's gonna say. You wake up and you know exactly what it's gonna say. And so it really loses that nuance and that novelty. And so the thing that really, so it's still like interesting, right? You're still kind of, you still get that dopamine, that little hit every morning you get a look at, oh, did I get green? Or did, you know, with the, with the stress, you know, did I, did I, fill up my bar and it hits you with these little dopamine hits and those are fun. But for me, what really pushed me over the edge was without fail, every time that I had really tossy, turny, bad sleep, it would always give me a green, like a full green bar. And the way that it judges your sleep, it's based on two things, your heart rate variability and your resting heart rate. The resting heart rate doesn't bug it as much, but if you have a really elevated resting heart rate, then it then your sleep will not be as good. Um, but the thing it really relies on is your heart rate variability, you know, how much your heart is changing throughout the night. And so when I was tossing and turning, it would think that I was getting great sleep, I guess, but it always gave me green, even if I had an elevated heart rate, which I usually did. So the times that it would occur the most and how I know that it was so wrong was my primary, my primary activity is I spend a lot of time outdoors. I spend a lot of time hiking, a lot of time camping, sleeping outside. And any of you who do the same, when you are camping and sleeping outside on some blow mattress in the middle of nowhere, it is very seldom that you actually get good quality sleep. You're kind of on edge, you're sort of awake, you wake up like 10 times a night and you don't get good sleep. But my whoop band, without fail, would tell me that I got some of the best sleep that I would ever get. It would always be like 98, 99% recovery, like good job and I'm exhausted and I woke up like 30 times a night, but because my heart rate variability was so jacked, it thought that I just got amazing sleep. And so with that, it really makes you, you can't trust it anymore. You know, you're like, wait a second, if, if it thinks I'm getting great sleep now, like what about those other times when I'm in my bed, right? And that trust, that loss of, of trust, really, I mean, that's like what their whole, that's what the whole thing is built on, right? You have to be able to trust the band or what's the point? And so that was really what what was the final, just that really, that the big push that I needed. The next thing, recovery. Recovery was done from the beginning. I don't, I'd be super curious for anybody watching this to know if you 
use the recovery in any meaningful way because it should really just be stress and sleep but because your your recovery if you didn't get very good sleep, then it's going to be like, hey, don't work out as hard. Or if you worked out really hard and basically then your sleep will say, hey, you didn't get very much sleep, whatever. Don't work out as hard or whatever. And it just is, there's no like helpful information. It just is basically telling you exactly what you already know. Are you tired? Okay, don't work out. Oh, you recovered really well. You slept good. Okay, work out really hard. And that's basically it. So it was never helpful from the beginning and I felt like it was redundant, uh, especially with the other two meters. And so, yeah, recovery never did anything. It just is, I never even looked at it. There's nothing there to look at. So yeah, stress, stress is fun. You know, stress is for anybody that's had any type of watch, you know, it's fun to see how hard you did whatever you did, right? It's fun to see how, how, how high you can get your heart rate and how quickly it comes back down or if you can stay in a certain zone and all those different things but for primarily for what i use it for when i'm hiking or when i'm playing sports i'm not trying to keep my heart rate in any specific zone and that's really what it came down to is for anybody that's looking for anything other than some type of cardio activity long like a long cardio basically running riding riding the bike whatever it's not helpful really other than like once you're done you can be like oh that was really stressful like I, I was really working hard but it's sort of like you already know that you know that's the nuance is there at first when it's all new and it's all cool and you're, you're stoked about it but then after you're like I already like I already knew these things and so especially with like weightlifting when I'm at the gym the whoop is basically useless if you're if you're weightlifting there's just there's, it doesn't keep track of your reps it doesn't I mean there's nothing there and it's like you're not really keep I mean me personally at least I'm not I don't need to record my heart rate when I'm lifting weights so the stress is it was cool at first like the sleep but it just really doesn't there's nothing after you know six months three months there's nothing there any any longer and what it comes down to especially with the stress is you can get a, another device for much less that will do the same thing if you're looking for the stress, right? But to monitor your, your heart rate in, in any number of ways. You can get something that'll, that'll do the same thing better for less and you don't have to pay some reoccurring subscription. And that's the, the final thing is it's, it's a subscription model for a, a band that you don't get a new one ever and it just is the value is absolutely not there even with the recent price drop so they went down from $300 to uh 240 so for the annual membership and for 240 bucks for a year to have a band that may or may not be that accurate and that loses its novelty it's just not there you know the value just isn't there and on top of that all of the equipment, if you want a new band, it's uh, 50 or it's $60 for a new band and $50 for a charger. Just, just $60 for a new band that probably cost them two bucks to make and then $50 for the charger. And that's sort of the last, like the bonus reason that I don't want to continue my membership is Whoop is so clearly and so blatantly investor first that it's unattractive especially for a customer so businesses exist to make money obviously but as the consumers of those businesses we need to feel like the values there and that you respect us for giving you our business right and so when when it feels like you should be thanking us, right? When I quit my membership, there was no like, hey, we'll give you a free band or we'll, and I'm not looking for handouts, but that's what a good business does. It's like, hey, we value your, we value you as a customer because without you, I could, we couldn't exist, right? And so there's no, there's no bonus, you know, six months in, it's like, hey, thanks for being a member. Here's this band or here's this thing or here's a discount. You know what I mean? Like here's even a small discount or whatever. They're just, there's no 
customer gratitude and it's it's very much it should be thank you for being a customer thank you so much we really appreciate you whoop is very much you're welcome you're welcome give us more money you're welcome and that's kind of just the final reasons i don't want to give my money to a business that does that i'd rather give it to to literally anybody else and so yeah those are all the reasons that i'm not going to continue my membership uh what's for the value for me it i mean sits at 20 bucks a month right now 20 bucks doesn't sound like much and it's really not but like if you're not i mean if the value is not there the value is not there for me the value is probably around 10 bucks 10 bucks a month um and for what they're currently offering and so until something like that happens um yeah i can't see myself restarting my my whoop for really any other reason um but yeah hopefully this helped someone out there if you're watching this still uh Hopefully it helped you make a decision either way if you have one, whether or not you want to continue or if you're thinking about getting one, uh, whether or not you want to get one. So thanks for watching.